All right, welcome back. I'm joined now by Sandy Higgins on behalf of Voice First Humane Society. And this sweetie, who's she's hunting after one treat who went like wayward. That we, got we a, lost. Yeah, we have a whole pile of she wanted that one. This is Emily Dickinson. Yes. Um, and we were saying that she's a, she was a community cat. Yes, so she we estimate she's about eight years old, so technically she's a senior kitty. Mm -hmm. um, she was found by one of our longtime volunteers and just a friendly community cat. Um, and so our longtime volunteer had started feeding her and then had discovered that she is missing her front claws. Oh. So somebody had previously declawed her and then let her out. Mm. So that's definitely a safety issue yeah. for little Miss Emily because she's unable to defend herself, also makes it difficult to climb and get away. Yeah. Um, so she was put on our wait list while our volunteer took care of her and then she came into the shelter and she was a little skinny and a little matted up so yeah. we've got her to a decent weight and then as you can see we recently shaved her down she's got the line um, cut. yeah she's actually grown it back a little bit and she looks super cute in a sweater oh. <laughs> she is <laughs> on the cold days um, yeah. but she's just a lovey lovey cat and she likes to be the center of your attention mm -hmm. she does not like being around other cats so okay. even though she is in our cat room we do keep her in one of our white cages because she just does not like being around other cats she would not do well around dogs okay. um, she also really just needs to be in a very quiet home um, no small children we don't want to stress her out older kids would be good but really maybe just an older couple who just want a cat to sit on your lap and give some love and give attention love, exactly. that would be the perfect and ideal home for little miss emily dickinson there you go yeah and she is um even you know she's growing out her hair pretty quickly she yes. seems to be a really fluffy cuddly kitty she will be fluffy once again she'll get there she's getting there um, and she just she loves to be touched she loves to be talked to mm -hmm. she's a pretty vocal cat she'll talk to you and she'll tell you when she wants stuff yeah. um but yeah the great thing about about older cats is we can already give you an idea of their personality exactly. and you know exactly what to expect with her and yes because she is declawed she would need to remain an indoor cat yes just indoor to only. ensure that her safety yeah. and her protection so, so then yeah, for um, uh, elder cats or older cats is there any um, you know for someone who's looking to bring that cat into their home we talked about the personality is there any other things you would advise people to look out for or just make sure they're accommodating well just make sure that you always have a space that they can call their own mm -hmm. so we always recommend a sanctuary room to get started so a room that's theirs and we always send home a blanket or a bed with them that already has their smell so that helps to acclimate them to a new home a lot easier as well um, and then also as less stress as possible especially for yeah. someone like little Emily here who really is easily stressed out and stress can cause a lot of behavior issues yeah same with um, declawing that can also cause a lot of behavior issues so we always ask that you watch out for that we haven't seen any litter box issues or behavior issues mm -hmm. with her so we feel Perfect. that she would transition very well into like I said a very a quiet, quiet home. calm home where she can be the center of attention perfect all yeah. right well thank you so much for coming Thanks on for today and us. introducing us to Emily um, like always if you want to check her out you can head to Royce Hurst Humane Society and uh, we'll have that information on westhurstopenow.com we'll be right back